Right, so the first class we're going to have a look at is this one over here, which is the sink wire. It's really tightly in there, but we've got the two uh, cigarette lighter ports there. USB 3.0 and the two uh, USB-C ports. So if I go ahead and plug this in, it's really tightly in there though. I have to say that. Uh, we do get straight voltage coming out of, so we can measure the voltage coming out of this cigarette lighter. So that's with the engine running. We've got 12.4 volts. If I turn the engine off, actually, it does change. If I turn the engine off the car and put on the ignition, it's now 12.2 volts, 12.1 volts. Watch it change as soon as I run the engine. Goes down a little bit to 11.8, 11.9, then it should go back up. There you go, 12.6 volts. So I've gone ahead and I've tested uh, both these ports. Now, obviously, I can't really show you because I'm using the phone to record this video. But if I go ahead and plug it into this USB port here, I get fast charging. If I go ahead and plug in my USB C cable to these two ports over here, I get super fast charging. So these two ports are actually super fast charging ports for Samsung. So these must be around 25 watts, because normally around 25 watts is when the super, super fast charging feature comes in. And with normal USB, it's around 18 watts, where Samsung recognizes as a fast charger. So this must be around 18 to 20 watts, and these must be around 25 watts. So that's really good. And of course, because it's coming from a straight, very powerful uh, voltage, it's probably a reason why that's like that. Now, the other thing we have over here, of course, is the two cigarette lighter ports, which would simply slot in here. So if I've got my dash cam, this is my dash cam, if I could plug it in there. Now to turn it on and off, I can turn it on and off like that. We do have another cigarette lighter. This is from my video previously before. Slot that in there. So now we can use two things to light it up. So if I just move my camera over just along there so you can see it a lot better. If I go ahead and power this on by pressing this button, if I power this one on, you can see that it lights up there. If I press it off, it turns it off. If I press this, it will now turn this one on and that will turn the dash cam on. There you go. That is now the dash cam powered on. If I go ahead and press it off, it should turn the dash cam off. And give it a few little. There you go, dash cam's turned off. Look at that. Simple as that. So this is a very good product. I do like this. Uh, it's a bit uncomfortable for me for the layout of my car. That's the only secret lighter port I have in my car. And the other one I have is in the back. So for me, it's a bit of an awkward one to be fair, I'm not really going to use this. But for someone with a big family and a cigarette lighter that's probably underneath over there-ish, or maybe in the centre console over there-ish, uh, that might be quite a good little device because it does angle 45 degrees. But for me, it's just too big and chunky for me and I don't actually need to use this personally. So I'm not going to use it, but it is a very good product so I may give it to my dad because he has a lot of like cigarette lighter ports and USB-C ports in his car so this would be perfect for him and his cigarette lighting port is actually located underneath the passenger side so that's why it will come in use for him and it will hide away as well but that's for this one here yeah, that's a very good product we're going to go ahead and have a look at the next product now right so the next device is this one over here now the reason you see all these numbers it's not actually like that uh, the camera is picking it up digital and it's doing that but it actually says 108.0 uh, it's just the camera is making it look like it's flickering and doing all these weird designs and stuff. But it's not, it says 1080. So what you do with this one is, this is an FM transmitter. So this is for cars that don't have Bluetooth built in, but do have a radio. Now, obviously, you can clearly see my car. Uh, it would have Bluetooth built in. But I'm just going to go through how to do it anyway and how to connect it if you do just have a radio. So if you go on your radio station, and you can adjust your radio station to put it on a channel where nothing is playing. So... For me, it was 108 on FM radio and nothing was playing. So what you do is you put it on a channel on your radio on that. Go back to your device and set this. You can see, you can set the volume here. And that's full volume. If you click on the channel button on the side over here, you can then adjust the channel. So as you can see, my radio is making no sound because there's nothing connected to it. But the minute I go to 108, it's going to be a while. The minute I get to 108, it should connect to my car radio. 108, there you go. The noise has stopped. That means I've now connected to my car radio. So this 
108 channel has connected to this 108 channel and it has now connected everything to this car so once you've done that you don't want to connect your phone to this device so now that this is connected to the car through the fm radio frequency of 108 uh, you can do any you want but obviously 108 was the one that had no channel playing on my one you then want to go onto your phone and go ahead and go to bluetooth and you want to connect to this one over here swx653 once you go ahead and do that you can then answer calls and everything you need from here so you can press the button on here to answer calls so press answer calls press to hang up uh, this is to boost the bass so press this one we've got bass booster on bass booster off sorry for the flickering that is literally because obviously my camera is picking that up uh, like that and it's flickering but in real life it's, it doesn't flicker it looks absolutely fine when you're looking at it in person so if I go ahead and go on some non copyright music on YouTube it will play out the car there you go it's playing out the car speakers now the sound quality is very good now if I go ahead and do bass booster as well it just boosts the bass and sounds a lot better and it is coming out of these speakers down here on the car And obviously if I change the radio it, it will stop it will stop playing so if I go to another radio free because it's now playing the radio and deck the CEOs Safe. are discussing how to increase their customers. So if I go back to so we got us two, you 108 that's back to my phone so that's simple as that really uh, of course the other thing that this features is, sorry about that accidentally cut off but of course what else we feature here is of course it charges your phone as well so we got the USB-C port we can plug in here and we'll plug it into this device here it's a bit hard filming everything with one hand because we're in a car now so it's a bit difficult and you can see it picks it up fast charging there you go so we do have a fast charger there so it's not again not a super fast charger, it's just a standard fast charger. So that was the USB-C port on this device. So let's go ahead and use the normal USB port. Uh, it is still light up, it's just, like I said, the camera's just not picking up the digital colours. Uh, go ahead and plug this one in. And that one is also fast charging as well. So the USB 3.0 port and the USB-C port are both fast charging ports. So that's absolutely perfect over there. Uh, when you pick up phone calls, uh, it does have the microphone over there. So you can also use it. So this is mainly for, and I could have pulled it out. It's now disconnected from the radio. But we're going to go ahead and turn the car off now anyway. But this is mainly for cars uh, that don't have a bluetooth system but they do have a radio fm radio so i think it's a very good tip piece technology um it's not the best of the best that's out there i would prefer to use something that has an aux cable that way i know if the radio cuts out or frequency gets in the way it, my music will still work my phone will still be connected but it's a good idea it's a good concept and it is, it's awesome to have on cars that don't have bluetooth systems so outdated cars old cars I don't have Bluetooth call systems or Bluetooth music systems. This is this is a perfect device for you. Uh, very, good. it's a very good de device, very good idea, and very good build quality. And it's very easy to use, but you do have to look at the manual to figure it out first. So this one over here, I'm going to give it a score of eight out of ten. I think it's a really good device, and it does what it's meant to do, really. And then this one over here, I'm going to give it a nine out of ten. I think it looks absolutely amazing as well. Very good build quality. Uh, a nine is because obviously it's really bulky but it has to be bulky if you want these cigarette lighter ports um but i feel like it would have been nice if i could angle this 90 degrees instead of just these 45 degrees angles that's it if it was 90 degrees angles would have been really nice but it's a really good device anyway it does what it does i like that these are super fast charging ports that's absolutely amazing that's super useful and i like that it's fused so if anything goes wrong this fuse will blow and not any fuse on your car so if you do overload this with too much power it will blow this fuse and not the one on your car which i think is absolutely amazing uh so yeah this one here gets a 9 out of 10 as well so these are devices from syncwire um really really like them i think they're really really good do check them out they do have many many more different devices as well special thanks to syncwire for uh giving me these devices to have a look at and to review as well and i do like them i have to say they are very good devices it's something i would recommend I think Syncwire is a company that I do like now a lot and I would definitely recommend them as well. So do check them out. Uh, link to buy these will be down below in the description. If I do have any coupon codes, I'll throw them down there as well. Uh, other than that, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching this video.